попробую. Я делаю через рестрим. Рестрим, да. Ну, все нормально, просто здесь у нас Zoom, как бы, и э, все эти данные вводятся в Zoom. Отлично. Теперь мы лайф. Нас видно. Ну, все нормально, просто здесь у нас Zoom. Слышно. Все эти данные. Так, э, друзья, hello everyone. Uh, now we're switching to English and uh, we're about to start our webinar. Uh, the audience is uh, slowly joining and uh, we give uh, we will give a few uh, one more minute uh, for the rest to join. We won't wait too long uh, because you can rewind back and, and if you are late or uh, see the uh, see the recording later. The most important that uh, the speakers are here and we can start. <laughs> um, in the meantime, uh, everyone who is uh, alive with us, uh, don't forget to smash the like button. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. And of course, we will highly appreciate if you repost this uh, stream and um, mm, also prepare your questions in advance so we will be able to select uh, we'll have some choice to select those questions for the speakers we already have some people commenting and it's great uh, so please repost this uh, uh, live stream so more people can join and uh, benefit from the content we create for you um now uh since uh, some people already joined i suggest we start the webinar and i will start with introduction of the speakers I will have very short introduction because uh, the speakers will uh, share their expertise uh, themselves uh, better than my, uh, myself. But most importantly, I want to say that um, every entrepreneur who is building something uh, like technology entrepreneur who is building something, they need uh, services like uh, uh, cloud services. And uh, AWS is a well-known uh, provider of uh, all kinds of services for uh, early stage entrepreneurs and later stage entrepreneurs. And today we want to explore what uh, it is exactly uh, uh, Amazon Web Services can help you with right now at your uh, specific stage. You can also ask your specific questions related to your startups. Uh, maybe you cannot solve some uh, things and Amazon can help you. Also, we will speak about potential grants and financing uh, opportunities and uh, other uh, support options that we can provide with this collaboration between um, Amazon, uh, AWS uh, and the uh, Go Global World. Uh, before we start, uh, before I introduce the speakers, uh, let me show you a few slides about the community and uh, uh, after that we will uh, begin our session. Okay, just one second. I'm sharing my screen. Can you guys see my uh, slides? Okay, so uh, welcome to Go Global World event. We already had uh, I think over 100 webinars for the past year, it's crazy. It's, uh, I, I cannot count all of them, but all of them are created for you. We are not uh, uh, another YouTube channel just for the sake of likes. We are creating value for you so you can apply. Uh, if you have questions, if you uh, would like to join our community, just go on our website, uh, scan this QR code to join future events. And on the website, you can create your profile. On our social media, you can already interact with uh, entrepreneurs from around the world. Why do we exist? We exist for entrepreneurs who create value in the world, who speak English and would like to go global. Uh, we uh, expect from you that you guys will help out each other as uh, the same way as it's like in Silicon Valley. That's why we call ourselves uh, Digital Silicon Valley for Global Entrepreneurs. In Silicon Valley, it's common. It's a culture where one entrepreneur helps the other without asking anything in return. Just imagine what you can do on a global scale if you have entrepreneurs around the world and you ask a question, you ask for help and you get support. Same expected from you. So don't ask when people uh, would direct question to you, proactively help each other. This is super important. And this is the key value you get in this community. But also we give access to uh, corporations uh, like uh, AWS, like uh, uh, venture investors, accelerators, incubators, and many more uh, uh, 
uh, uh, parts of ecosystem can be available at your hands. This is a community that is created for, by entrepreneurs for entrepreneurs. This is our global team. We have uh, about 40 people in 30 countries. And uh, it, in every country, we, uh, we have a leader uh, that is willing to help you to access those countries. And uh, um, if you would like to become a leader and join our leadership team, uh, you can uh, email us and we can uh, have an interview with you. The, uh, but the community is way beyond that. We have over 2,000 members across the world, uh, entrepreneurs, and uh, uh, it's like, I don't know exactly how many countries, but it's uh, up to 100 countries already uh, visited, uh, people from about 100 countries visited our community and keep interacting with uh, from around the world. Uh, networking is the key nowadays building uh, businesses. This is why we created a Telegram bot for you, which will match you with uh, the other uh, member of uh, our community on a weekly basis. Automatically, you don't have to do anything. You just fill up uh, the uh, form in Telegram and it, uh, the bot will automatically will connect you with the rest of the community. So you can have calls, you can interact and expand your quality network around the world no cost. Uh, we also built uh, fun stickers uh, like uh, appreciation from our team. Enjoy it, use it uh, for fun. And uh, yeah, so Nikita is giving us uh, some thumbs up. So yeah, this is fun and please use it. This is for you. Why uh, do we do webinars? Uh, webinars is uh, one of our promises. We believe that uh, access to uh, um, expertise, how to start global companies should be uh, available to everyone and free. So depend doesn't matter where you are, who you are, if you are building something in the world and you have questions, we want to help you. That's why we bring uh, bright people like Nikita, like uh, 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 Igor and everybody else, uh, uh, like Donna Griffith, Ben Kaplan, uh, Bob Dorf. These people are uh, having exact, uh, deep expertise in specific fields so you can use their expertise and knowledge and ask your questions. We want these webinars uh, uh, to build not for the sake of amount of views, but for the steps you can apply. Ideally, we want you to have uh, these steps uh, at your hands so you can apply it right after the webinar. Not always possible, but we are pushing it as, as much as we uh, can with every speaker, and this is our goal. Uh, uh, our global partners, this list is not full, but uh, uh, we have global partners around the world in Australia, for example, Mind High, Gold Coast Innovation Hub, uh, IB Consultant in the uh, United States, Exp Expert Dojo, uh, Collaborativa Mexico, uh, um, many techno parks and accelerators incubators in uh, Russia, CIS, uh, Israel, in Israel, and many other countries. Uh, one of the probably most known partners we have, 500 startups in the United States. So that's it on my end. Uh, this is Go Global World. We are just starting, uh, but we are truly going, uh, growing fast. And because, uh, because of you, because you guys are building something important in the world. You are changing our world for the better. I and mean, we want you to have this uh, ecosystem so you can uh, make this world a better place. Today. We have two awesome speakers uh, uh, from AWS. AWS became recently a partner of Global World, and uh, uh, now uh, we officially uh, can uh, select startups uh, to give out uh, uh, some credits for Amazon services. And uh, Nikita and Igor will tell a little more information about that. We announced this uh, opportunity uh, on um, our resources. But uh, the most important uh, today, my personal goal is to learn more about Amazon uh, Web Services. What, uh, what guys you uh, can give uh, to pre-seed startups, uh, what opportunities you can give to later stage startups like Seed and Round A. For every uh, uh, entrepreneur, it might be different uh, and uh, especially maybe even different because of the regions. What would be the criteria to select uh, for specific benefits and on and on. And uh, once you guys uh, finish with that, uh, let's get to the Q&A se uh, session and uh, get uh, uh, people asking us uh, questions and answer them.
So Nikita, Igor, welcome to Go Global World community. Please introduce yourself. Uh, give us uh, the uh, some interesting information from your personal life, but oh, let's get to your uh, uh, professional life uh, straightforward. Daniel, thank you. Thank you for passing us. Uh, I would say a word. Uh, yes, thank you for the things the Go Global team does, I would say, globally. Yes, and uh, it's always a pleasure to talk to the community members, to talk to the people who somehow believe uh, that I would say sharing knowledge to each other makes both party much more stronger, yes. And I would say we are entering the world where are no secrets, I would say, and sharing the knowledge makes us stronger. So thank you for this opportunity. Um, yes, now I will, I will do some intro before entering the slides, but some teaser from my side. Uh, frankly speaking, both me and the Igor, we don't like webinars. I don't know. I, <laughs> I, think, I think we don't like webinars. So both uh, Igor and me, we like, you know, interactive sessions. That's what we like about, you know, about people. So I would like to engage you <laughs> to challenge us with questions because webinar is something like you have a very professional lecturer who has a very unique, I would say, unbeatable knowledge about some point. Uh, yes, we have such kind of knowledge, um, both I Igor and me, but this does not mean you, uh, you could not challenge us and stop us and, uh, uh, you know, um, interact with us uh, with some uh, curious questions. We like it very much, so I would uh, say, please be, be curious here. My teaser about what should be beneficial today in our, in our session is, would be the following. There would be no any selling pitches about Amazon Web Services to, today. There is no, there will be no any advertisement, you know, go global AWS. Everything we should talk about today with Igor uh, will be about benefits because startups is a very special thing, I would say, in this new economy world. And uh, we in AWS believe uh, that we should treat startups, nurture startups by teams, by, te by technology teams in a very special way. That's why we have so many time today to talk about different programs which do exist inside AWS, but who have, I would say, the common goal to help you to find your market product fish, um, market product niche, market product fit, and uh, to grow very ag aggressively to change with the world we are living in. My name is Nikita Harchenka. I'm a startup business development in uh, uh, which whose passion and duty to take care about the startups from Ukraine, Russia, Kazakhstan, all the countries which somehow understand Russian, Ukrainian, uh, Georgian languages, I would say 13 countries. But in fact, whenever you are, whenever you are in UK, in Bay Area, in, uh, in Japan, uh, you could be the startup which we take care about and help to go global to the markets. That's our mission. Uh, shortly about me, major part of my life, I've been a classical serial, I would say, entrepreneur in the classical business distribution and manufacture. But five years ago, I sold my company and rushed to this new uh, IT world to help startups to go global. My first experience was uh, leading a marketing boutique agency, which helped seven startups to enter European and Indian market, India market. My today's role, I would say, and position to do the same thing uh, to help startups to grow, but from AWS, from the position, these are much more resources on the back end. Yegor, who are you on this session? <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Nikita, and uh, thank you, Daniel, for inviting us. Um, my name is Igor, and uh, I'm Startup Solution Architect at Amazon Web Services. And uh, I'm serial entrepreneur as well. I've been playing a role as a co technical co-founder, mentor, uh, just a CTO uh, for, for various startups 
and for the past 10 years I've been an active player in a startup ecosystem and uh, in Los Angeles, but now uh, I'm here to help uh, European startups to go global and um, reach, reach the markets. So um, in your introduction, <clears throat> I've heard that uh, you you tell us that we are um, today going to be telling uh, our startups about benefits of the Amazon. But I, one thing I want to say uh, as a as a startupper myself is that uh, every person or everyone who uh, startup founders meet uh, in in their uh, life, uh, it's either their customer or their partner or a teacher who is going to give them a precious uh, precious uh, lesson on how to become better or how to learn uh, something new. So uh, in this uh, magical triangle, we strive to be a partner. And uh, everyone uh, who's, uh, who startups chooses uh, on their journey, on their way, uh, is important because the partners uh, making startups stronger and help uh, go longer way and uh, reach further, you know, existences and reach the global markets. So that's why uh, Nikita is going to be uh, telling us today about how we can help, how we can become a best partner for a startup. And from I'm from a technical perspective, we would be happy to answer the questions and tell startups why. AWS is the best partner for them for this journey. Uh, Nikita, it's back to you. <laughs> Thank you. The stage is yours, sometimes people say. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, now it works. OK. You know, it's so romantic beginning. Why startups love AWS? What, what, is, it, what is it all about? Um, Let's uh, st let's deep dive a bit uh, to the history, but uh, to make it very core thing and to discuss the core thing uh, is that AWS uh, some time ago put in the core of the IT infrastructure providing, I would say, the main tenant. Uh, what if to pay for the infrastructure to pay it as you go, not like investing much in the infrastructure and, uh, in the time you don't know how much will you need in fact. So pay as you go pricing for IT infrastructure became, I would say, a very vibrating point, the magnet for the companies uh, all over the world from the different market domains, uh, huge ones and tiny ones uh, uh, which uh, move to cloud, uh, move to cloud and move to cloud nowadays, uh, uh, basing on this, uh, I would say, core principle of, uh, of a cloud infrastructure, pay as you go pricing. Uh, if you are talking about startups, which are, I would say, yes, very special, uh, the benefits here are pretty, pretty transparent, I would say. Zero upfront cost. You don't need to buy anything uh, um, if you want to build the product, the IT product and uh, to scale it. Uh, yes, you could focus on your core business value marketing uh, on building your team on uh, the iteration uh, with your products, uh, but not on the infrastructure you could launch faster and the most important uh, thing you could experiment uh, at a lower risk in case if you succeed and the traction begins to grow yes you pay as you go uh, being successful in case your current hypothesis uh, does not work in and you your product does not i would say uh, uh, does not attract the traction you pay accordingly. That's the things which are relevant for the startups. Uh, I promised you to, to, to give some observation and some deep dive to the history. You could see the figures. You could see the figures. And 2006 was uh, 
the year when Amazon launched the cloud storage uh, based on these discussed principles. And 90% uh, is the rate, uh, decrease rate uh, uh, in amount of money which you need uh, to, be, to launch a startups. That's how AWS uh, impact the industry, impact the startups, impact uh, your exact costs on that time uh, to, to bring the benefit to you and to be, I would say, uh, more agile and successful. Uh, I like this slide. I would not call it informative, but yes, it is officially approved uh, slide from Amazon Web Services. What this uh, exact slide means? The people who are working with uh, startups in Amazon Web Services, they are usually uh, founders, former, uh, former investors, they are mentors, they are the ones who worked in VC funds or in accelerators. And this is, I would say, a benefit. Uh, I would say a benefit because we are also have the experience to be founders and we could speak to you uh, your language, understanding all the roadblocks you are uh, facing uh, in your go-to-market journey. So we are both together with Igor, have the examples of such kind of a team. Uh, AWS Startup BD, the, the mate who occupies such a position inside AWS, who, who are my, I would say, partners, uh, who are my everyday contacts. My everyday contacts are startup communities, accelerators, VC funds, uh, business angels cl club. These are my everyday contacts. Why is it so? Uh, my mission is uh, to provide all the benefits for startups through this network. Uh, that's why we are now, I would say, in studio of Go Global uh, uh, community. And this is the case uh, why we are spreading our benefits through our partners. Next slide, please. What we do and what we don't. Very favorable approach. We don't invest cash. There are some cases we invest cash and there will be a slide uh, about this. But usually, this is not our approach. We don't invest cash. We don't take your capital uh, position. But what we really do, yes, we invest virtual currency, uh, which are AWS uh, credits or grants, uh, which allow you to build the, your uh, product uh, in cloud for free. We invest our time. We share our knowledge experience. We help to navigate you AWS resources, open door internally and externally. And we will talk about this in uh, our next slide. And uh, yes, we look to the startups, to the venture ecosystem, to all this uh, new emerging world uh, in a long-term view we have such an opportunity. Uh, we have, I would say, technical and go uh, and business savvy and marketing resources and opportunities across all Amazon Web Services. And uh, technically, there is uh, a row of these exact resources and we will talk about them uh, on our today's session. But of course, where I would say some business savvy stuff which is, uh, which is listed here. And these are co-marketing programs, which, which uh, these are uh, proof of concept funding when we want uh, to check if anything is worth of doing, I would say, uh, proceeding on AWS cloud. Sales referrals, distribution, uh, capital interest, which means venture capital funds or business angels introductions, which I, do pretty regularly and enterprise connections. These are AWS customers, which we are happy to make the intro to you in cases your product is relevant and you are, uh, I would say, pretty mature to do a business with the huge enterprises. Uh, these are all the startup, startup programs, the most fav, the most, I would say, popular ones. And uh, 
and uh, we will go it uh, and discuss a bit one by one by one all of them mentioned. First of it, uh, of this program uh, is called AWS Activate. Uh, I would say the core thing which is staying um, behind this program uh, is our belief that helping the startups which is uh, emerging and uh, I would say less than uh, seed stage and round day is a very crucial part. Uh, this is time when money for the startup, they are, I would say, one of the, one of the main resources. So this program uh, was designed uh, and uh, has a goal uh, to support the startups with grant on this, I would say, death volley uh, period. Because in, uh, during this period, when you are on the ramp up, we don't want you to pay for the infrastructure. It would be very, I would say, <laughs> it were very costly for, for you. We would prefer you would invest your money in team, uh, in product, in marketing, uh, but you should reach product market fit. And when you will become very well funded, uh, this is the case when it is okay to, play, to pay for IT infrastructure. This would be just, you know, uh, a tiny portion of your budget. Uh, what? No, uh, not some ki ki kill killing thing for you. Uh, how, how does it work? How does it work? Uh, every time you have a fundraise uh, from the business angels, from the accelerators, from the venture capital uh, fund, you have the opportunity, you are eligible to get AWS uh, credits. And uh, during your lifetime period, you are every startup in the world is eligible to get uh, up to 100,000 uh, uh, US dollars to your AWS account so you could use your infra infrastructure for free. Being a member of uh, Go Global community, you are also eligible, uh, you are also have an access to this uh, program. And please uh, be bold and ping uh, Go Global team in case uh, you need this uh, support uh, regarding AWS Activate program. Um, it's an easy step how to apply for Activate. Uh, I think everybody who uses Google, Yandex, uh, whatever, just Google AWS Activate, apply for portfolio Activate uh, credits. So there is no some, some mess here. Uh, if you are pretty mature and nowadays uh, you are using some data centers or some, I would say, uh, cloud uh, provider, which you don't like, which, uh, uh, which gives you the frustrating experience for some reason, uh, we could also, uh, I would say, do our best to make your migration experience very smooth from the technical perspective and from the financial perspective. To avoid double billing, we have also a supportive program which uh, helps you, which helps you to migrate without double billing. So these are also credits, uh, inviting credits uh, to your AWS account, which also engage you to, my, to migrate and to be on AWS. Well, architected review. Igor, could you please tell us what is it, what is it stands behind this point in AWS? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So as uh, as you mentioned on the previous slide, uh, we are helping startups uh, <clears throat> accelerate their journey, and we're helping on the initial steps on building their infrastructure and. And well-architected uh, review uh, is, is our investment into you as a startup. And uh, what it means for, for a startup is that some technical specialists like myself or, or any other solution architects will sit down with you and review your 
technical architecture to determine uh, the optimization potential, determine that you're using all the services uh, in the best possible way and uh, help you identify you know, potential issues in the future which gonna which might arise uh, when you scale when you go global when you attract more customers and uh, well architected review is a, our internal technical framework which helps us help you evaluate architecture and uh, all together collectively have a 360 view on a technical aspect of the your startup on your platform and make sure that everything is built properly, everything is built in, a, in the best possible way in accordance to the latest technology standards. So this is, um, this is as a part of our technical investment into the startup. Igor, how much is well architecture review should cost for the startup? Uh, this is a this is a great question. Uh, startups usually pay uh, technical advisors uh, with equity, and uh, equity for a technical advisor might be from one to five percent of the equity. And uh, the role of the technical advisor is to make sure that uh, that uh, the technology stack is uh, selected properly. There is a proper uh, architectural components. Uh, there are, there are uh, proper tools used. Um, we are doing this for free and this is again this is our investment into the startup so th by uh, choosing us as a partner by working with us on improving your your architectural decisions on reviewing your architecture you're actually saving one to five percent of your company which is which is a lot sounds cool sounds cool in fact Igor but uh could I ask you the second questions here Absolutely. You know, uh, I heard the rumor, rumors that account managers in AWS who are treating startups could be fired because in the day, if they did not advise to, the, uh, to their customers, to the startups, uh, a well-architected review or some cost optimization uh, programs on time. Are these rumors true? Yeah, I hope I hope this uh, this is only rumors because again we don't want to we we serving the best uh, for our customers. We are very customer obsessed, but at the same times we are uh, not punishing uh, anybody for 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 not being proactive but this is our ultimate goal to offer the startups the best so every time um, i speak to customers i offer them the best advice i have the best knowledge i have and uh, i'm trying to be a customer advocate uh, in front of the aws uh, not uh, just a you know like aws advocate in front of the customers so that being said uh, i work with every account manager uh, to make sure that um, we offer uh, all possible options from our technical portfolio for startups and uh, again if you if you want to have a well architected review if you are not uh, receiving the offer to to perform one just request it immediately i see thank you for for this words igor I have my own experience in Amazon Web Services and uh, talking with the startups. And uh, I would say, uh, may, um, uh, I would say, eyeballing which exact services do they consume, how much. And uh, I was, um, I was a guy uh, a lot in a lot of situations uh, when. Uh, manager or responsible person was uh, challenging the account managers, was challenging me inside my internal process, was challenging, are we optimized well? Uh, could we have uh, some uh, smart solutions for this exact niche, for this exact blockchain startup, for this exact at uh, ed tech startups where we could optimize them so they could uh, uh, pay less. Because in fact, uh, if you are paying less for the infrastructure, you have uh, 
more air to invent, uh, to invent, to make, to make some sometimes uh, experiments with uh, artificial intelligence, machine learning, some new unique uh, services in AWS. And yes, it makes you compet competitive on the market and it makes you grow faster by the end of the day. That's how it works. <laughs> Thank you. Vibrating, vibrating topic. Startup mentorship. Yes, uh, I would say this is a program which is uh, invite only. Sorry, sorry, invite only. But uh, there are cases which I drive uh, uh, in emerging markets with uh, Russian speaking Ukrainian founders. Now these are two cases which I uh, drive. Uh, when we are finding a mentor for these exact startups, it is usually connected with uh, entering the exact market. For example, Spanish market with uh, educational tech startups or the North American uh, market with uh, ed tech startups to get first customers on this market. And yes, usually there are, I would say, ready to go approaches and there are um, teammates inside Amazon Web Services whom I could ask to guide the startups to reach their goals. Uh, sometimes these are also external experts, experts, external experts or teammates from our partners uh, across the global. But yes, this is also kind of support which could be relevant for your startup. Uh, AWS connections, <laughs> my favorite uh, part and uh, the most desirable part. And we have some steps here together with Go Global uh, team with Dmitry Prasolov. Dmitry, hi to you. Uh, yes, what is it all about? AWS Connection is a program which has the goal to match make startups and enterprises globally to run a, a service, to run a commercial pilot, or maybe even to reach a merged acquisition deal if everybody agrees. And uh, this is the core thing of this, um, uh, prog of this uh, program in AWS. Yes, this is, I would say, uh, the program which is uh, designed for mature startups, for the ones who have case study already uh, in their portfolio, or at least a very clear forecasted case study, I would say, which shows which exact business uh, metrics uh, will, uh, uh, will improve the collaboration with these startups. And uh, a few words about this uh, program. Uh, these are, in fact, running requests uh, from the enterprises in all the uh, markets we know nowadays, uh, which are connected, which are connected uh, to the uh, exact enterprises or to the exact company which serve to the enterprises. And um, the program is running on the following steps, I would say. Uh, in case uh, the startups wants to get a B2B contract uh, in, in uh, the exact market niche, uh, he, you could apply to BD, which is working in your country. Nikita Harchenka, this is your case. You could apply to... Uh, the partner of Amazon Web, Web Services who have the access to this uh, program. In our case, for example, Go Global uh, team is uh, could be this provider because we are partnering with them about uh, driving this program. And uh, both BG Go Global team, we are look through the enterprises' requests in your market niche uh, and. Uh, and we are uh, looking for uh, for the match. In case we have a match, we refer your startup to the enterprise. Enterprise managers goes through your product deck, uh, through your case study, and in uh, in case uh, he's interested in uh, collaboration with you, uh, 
he sends back the request for the meeting uh, to discuss the de details of the collaboration. In case the enterprise manager thinks, no, this is this is not the thing, uh, this is not the company I would like to collaborate to, usually we have a very fair and constructive feedback from their side, their side which is uh, also valuable, like any feedback in the world, if it is fair and constructible. Uh, next, uh, next program, uh, which is somehow uh, has the familiar goals, it is called AWS Capital Connect. In fact, in fact, now uh, the goal of this program is to help startups to fundraise uh, in the uh, to fundraise uh, uh, in the different gears. Um, I would say it uh, works uh, in a different way. Uh, we take the startups which uh, want to fundraise money. Usually these are A rounds or uh, seed rounds. And yes, we could provide some interest to some VCs. We are working with and recommend uh, in case you are interested uh, in this uh, program. So, but feel free to reach me out after this session in case you want to use the benefits of this uh, program. AWS Marketplace. Uh, in case you are a SaaS, uh, having a SaaS product, and uh, you are okay to publish these on AWS Marketplace. In this case, you have an access to AWS customers, in fact, yes? And based on the revenue share model, you could uh, enlarge the amount of your customers joining this program. Uh, please uh, read the details about how to enter this program uh, on the mentioned link and uh, it could drive your business uh, globally. Uh, I'm more than sure here. Amazon Launchpad. <laughs> in case, in case you are uh, the part of your business or the core of your business, uh, physical goods, physical goods. There is a special uh, program, Amazon Launchpad, which helps startups to start business with uh, uh, Amazon. So please, in case there are any uh, among you uh, with the physical goods, there is a special program to onboard you to Amazon. Alexa Fund, this is exactly the case which we were uh, I'm somehow was uh, a bit smiling uh, when uh, we were talking about do's and don'ts, uh, what AWS does and what don't. Uh, and uh, this is the case when Amazon uh, invests in startups uh, and yes, takes an equity if you're okay with this. This is a very niche uh, Alexa fund which is focused on uh, voice recognition uh, technologies. So in case you are in this area, I would highly recommend to you uh, to watch out and to go through the Alexa Accelerator program and uh, Alexa fund requirements or criteria to the startups because there is a very strong chance uh, to get the expertise in Alexa Accelerator and to uh, get the investments from Alexa Fund in case you are, uh, I would say, complementary to the strategy of the Alexa Fund. Our favorite part, you see Igor Shadrin uh, on your slide and you see the QR code. Uh, Daniel somehow um, started the flash mob, show the QR code to attendees uh, and let us check how many of them <laughs> know what to do with the QR code. I would say this is uh, AWS startup loft uh, place, uh, virtual place, where all the events in the different market uh, domains in the different industries, uh, business savvy and technical savvy. They are all published here. 
So uh, this is the access to the expertise uh, on your native language or in English language, in French, in Spanish, in uh, any, I would say, in Georgian. Are there any jo Georgia uh, people here? And uh, yes, I would somehow engage you and uh, advise you to look to this platform, to look to this uh, place, uh, uh, I would say, to find for the solutions and the discussions inside the industry, in, inside the industry, how to overcome the obstacles you are facing uh, right now in your go-to-market journey. This is also a place where you could, um, uh, I would say, um, schedule a meeting with the tech savvy or business savvy expert with the different uh, background, uh, all EMEA region wide. So there are a lot of experts here and uh, not only Igor uh, and not only Nikita Harchenka. So uh, weekly we have a free slots which are devoted to 30 minutes or one hour um, sessions to talk with you exactly about your product about your obstacles and to help you to go through them. That's the story. I have, uh, I would say, two slides. I would say two slides. Let us check. Are there any questions from the Facebook uh, live streamings or in the Zoom? If there are, we could uh, easily. Yeah, because we have some questions. Uh, you want to start q &A session right now or you want to continue? We are, uh, in fact, we are ready. In fact, we are ready. We have some hidden slides with uh, Igor. We like to have these hidden slides, but uh, I would like to devote maybe more time to your questions and Rollbox to, to use this time to be very valuable for you. I see. All right, so um, let's, uh, let's begin Q&A se session. Everyone who is live right now with us, uh, we understand this is summer, it's okay, but uh, just uh, uh, put uh, some effort in your fingers and type a question for us. Um, uh, we are happy to answer. Uh, uh, in the meantime, uh, uh, I, I, we have one question. Uh, uh, it's a little bit a challenge, uh, challenging question. <laughs> then um, it's for Igor. <laughs> that's for Igor, okay. <laughs> but before, before I go there, guys, uh, first of all, amazing presentation, amazing slides. Uh, I, I truly love it. Uh, I, I love when companies are just uh, truly want to help and the services you described is one by one. Every slide is... We give this, we give that, we give the other thing. This is awesome. This is what I call uh, a startup ecosystem uh, in place. And uh, this is uh, definitely where uh, the place to go for startups. Um, uh, you mentioned some links. Uh, so uh, uh, if you uh, share this presentation with me, I will be able to send it to everyone or yeah, uh, sure, sure. You, can, you can give us these links right uh, uh, here or in the live stream so people can uh, get to them because sometimes it's hard to type. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, there will be some more questions from me, but uh, let's, let's get to the questions from the audience. Everyone, use this opportunity to ask. Uh, we have a live stream on YouTube and uh, we are live on Facebook. Uh, share this live stream. And don't forget to like it. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, mm, all your comments. I appreciate it, especially the questions, because this is uh, the time we, we use the speakers for you. So use this opportunity. Uh, first question is from uh, uh, Evgeny Rvacho. Uh, he's saying, Hi, uh, I'm an engineer uh, and entrepreneur. I use cloud computing for my work every day. But AWS is too expensive if we are talking about GPU performance. Yeah, you see, uh, I'm not starting with the simple one, right? <laughs> <laughs> we like it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what's the uh, pricing calculator? Okay. Igor, I think it's your favorite question, but, but I could support you. <laughs> Answering it. Yes, yes. Uh, thank you, Nikita, and uh, thank you, Evgeny, for the question. So basically, idea here is that um, when you when you say expensive and when you say not expensive, what 
exactly you compare in between, right? So we can uh, compare one thing to another thing, your laptop on your, on your desk or uh, scalable service, scalable and secure service uh, in the cloud. And this is gonna be a different thing. So um, if you go to the pricing calculator, which Nikita shows here, and you purely um, compare the price uh, and power of your laptop with a, with a similar um, um, power resources in the cloud, of course, it's gonna be expensive, but uh, the idea behind the cloud is not to use it straight away and uh, not uh, to use uh, bigger resources if you need uh, just uh, find the perfect fit and the right match. So here um, at AWS, uh, what we do is we perform cost optimization session, sessions and uh, architecture review sessions. And one of the well-architected actually sections is about cost optimization. So how you can optimize your workloads uh, when we're talking about GPU is uh, first uh, and foremost is just to use the right amount of resources you need, that's one. Uh, the second one uh, is use um, spot instances, use uh, elastic inference, uh, use uh, our uh, tools uh, available in the SageMaker to optimize your workloads. Uh, it, it's really, there is no silver bullet. Uh, there is no one um, solution which fits all. Um, the, uh, there is a lot of uh, good articles actually on the internet how to optimize your workloads, especially for, for your training workloads uh, in the cloud. So uh, in a few words, I would say that um, uh, let's come to uh, one of our Ask the Expert sessions and let's take a closer look at uh, what you compare it, what you use it and find the perfect match for that. Uh, I would say this is not the all answers. Why it is good to have two guys here from AWS uh, uh, because Igor's uh, expertise is technical savvy and his uh, answer was, I would say, from the technical perspective. Uh, my background, uh, my expertise is uh, business development and marketing uh, mostly. So my answer to the same question would be from business development perspective. The answer would be the following to you. We should be 100% sure that we are comparing apples to apples. What do I mean? We in, the, in AWS say pricing is not, I would say, the thing. Because what are we comparing? For example, pricing for storage for EC, EC2, for example, instances. What are we comparing? Uh, we should think about from the business savvy perspective about the total cost of ownership. Being with AWS, uh, what exact benefits gives to your business, to your startups? Because you see a lot of programs, programs uh, uh, we were mentioning today are designed to help you grow, to become unicorn by the end of the day. This is all a lot of, they are all very different. They are about fundraising, they are about uh, enterprise connections, they are about uh, migrations, they are about uh, well-architected review, they are about also pricing because the pricing, for example, which you get on AWS calcul calculator, this is not, I would say, the finished ones, the finished one. There are a lot of programs inside AWS, which are also about discounts, which are connected to uh, to your uh, to your charges and uh, uh, to your flow, uh, which are uh, which have the one goal to make your usage of infrastructure flow and very cost cost efficient. So, second point. There are a lot of services like artificial intelligence, machine learning, uh, a, a lot of, please, please have a dive, have a look. And uh, which, um, which are very unique and which uh, help you to be competitive on the market or very unique in the market. And this is, I would say, 
to design and bring to the customer a very unique uh, value, sometimes to disrupt the old time, old school market is the main goal of the startups. So AWS is not like, I would say, we, this is not about like uh, something very, very simple thing. This is uh, about partnership with you, uh, long-term partnership like Igor told you in the in our previous uh, previous mi minutes. And uh, you should be very accurate and intellectual choosing the partner. AWS benefits are not only about cost of storage, for example. They, they are much more. This is the answer of a business savvy guide to you. Awesome. Um, uh, um, some people want to uh, learn more about um, um, grants. Uh, you were mentioning some grants and probably uh, if you can elaborate uh, what possible, uh, what, uh, uh, what are grants available through Amazon uh, and uh, for what type of startups, uh, for what opportunities? Uh, no, uh, great question. Thank you for asking. Uh, I would. Uh, it would be my pleasure to clarify here. If we are talking about activate program grants, uh, which gives an opportunity to every startup uh, uh, to have uh, one hundred thousand US dollars on their account, fine. In total, I would say helping you to grow and build your product uh, in cloud. They are. Uh, we do not provide grants directly to you. We are providing them through our uh, accelerators, startup communities, venture funds, business and business angels. So the usual flow here and the usual advice would be the following. In case you entered the accelerator, in case you entered the some very significant uh, uh, startup community, like, right, like Go Global, uh, in case you fundraised uh, money from Business Angel or from the VC, just uh, ask them, uh, I want AWS grants. <laughs> uh, could you please organize it to me? And usually some of them proactively are sending to the new portfolio companies. Some are sending them after you will ask you. But uh, anyway, you will, you will have a unique org ID which you will uh, put in the AWS Activate page inside your AWS uh, account. And you will get uh, the credits in uh, five, seven uh, business day after your AWS Activate provider, which is VC fund, uh, startup community, accelerator approves that yes, this is my startups, which is affiliated with me. And after this, uh, the grants will hit your account in five, seven days. That's, that's how it works. Uh, if you are, I would say in the stage of idealization and you are just making your first steps in the cloud, there is a Activate Founders campaign a uh, program which allows you every startup in the world just to put your uh, the website of your product, your LinkedIn page, and your corporate email. That's it. And this is all you need to get your first 1,000 uh, activate credits on AWS and to start building. That's how it works. Awesome. But also, I guess, uh, since you mentioned it already, uh, uh, since you guys uh, help with the transition, so mm -hmm. uh, the uh, um, skills uh, resources are also considered, it's not a monetary value, but it can be converted into monetary uh, estimate uh, and uh, definitely some additional support uh, could be part of grants. Though uh, people understand grants for specific things and um, uh, usually they ha they apply for like spe specific causes or specific projects and uh, uh, that's that was the question. I see, I see. There is some, I would say, yes, there is some confusing uh, feeling about these words. When, for example, I, I will share our uh, experience with Igor. When we talk AWS credits, and this is the official name of the program, AWS credits, we have plenty of questions uh, credits, what percent rate 
uh, when should we return this money to the accounts and all these, you know, micro micro credits, all these credits uh, things uh, blow in, in the minds of uh, startup founders. They think that credits, this is something they need to return, you know, afterwards. No, credits, this is not something AWS credits, this is not something, some investment from our side, which you need to return. No, no. So we begin to use grants because grants, this is something like grants, you know, you don't need to return them. But in this case, you begin to think that grants are for very, I would say, niche startups, which are about, for example, Green Planet, yes, sustainability, or about very deep tech uh, things. No. Everybody, everybody is, uh, uh, I would say, warmly welcomed uh, to join this program. Awesome. Um, uh, some more tricky questions uh, we have. Uh, um, so talking about, uh, talking about ups and downs, what are the downs working with Amazon? <laughs> if you have. Of course, uh, you might not have. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to say. Uh, what's your negative sides and uh, on interview and like, oh, I'm actually always positive. <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, if it's possible to say something because uh, uh, I mean, uh, every organization has something uh, and uh, is uh, and uh, if you have uh, maybe maybe you've seen some challenges and you can give some advice how to overcome them. That might be some some idea. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, again, I'm I'm a technical specialist. Uh, usually, first thing uh, I'm thinking about the technical challenges which startups facing, and uh, all the startups different and they born differently. And uh, I see some startups which are not ready for the cloud, and cloud is not uh, the best solution for them. And uh, I always want to be. Uh, open and I want to uh, always be honest with the startups if I see that uh, they are currently at the stage where, where they are not ready for a cloud journey or it, it is a little bit too early or the specifics of the startups of their technological stack um, is not optimal for the cloud. So this is uh, from the techn technical perspective. But from a general perspective, I want to say if you're not ready to move fast, if you're not ready to innovate, if you are not ready to be in a fast paced environment where the innovation is driving you forward. So um, that, that's where uh, probably the cloud is not for you. Um, I don't know, Nikita, do you have uh, any, any sites which you wanna mention? Uh, I'm trying to remember the cases because I'm in Amazon for almost a year and uh, I have more than 20 interactions with the startups during a week, I would say, and uh, more than 50 with VC funds uh, and accelerators who are somehow the advocates of the startups and who are always uh, approaching to me, writing to me also on behalf of the startups uh, and uh, communicating with me or what could be done for their exact portfolio uh, companies. Uh, I don't remember a case. I don't remember a case when uh, uh, I would say some frustration and disappointment, except one. Now I remember. I think it could be frustrating for you a case when you are um, somehow getting huge amount of grants or credits. I don't know, uh, Daniel, please, let's choose the world. AWS credits or grants, but uh, this is- Credits. Yes, this is kind of our investments to your startup to grow. But there are cases when people are using these uh, credits, you know, for training the models. They don't have product, you know, in fact. They don't have intention to do a product or to change the world, just training models. And uh, when, when some of them begin to call to me because I'm the guy who is uh, responsible for the credits and they 
Give me more credits. Give me more credits. What to? I want to train my models. But what for? Uh, to train the models. But what for? <laughs> so it, it could be a down thing that if you are a team which is just training the models and want to do it for free, please don't expect that AWS will invest to you, I would say, for eternally, you know, for ages, just to train models. Because we are also investing in the companies who want to make this world uh, better by the end of the day. Training models just to train models is not the purpose, <laughs> is not the match between us. Maybe this is the case which could be suitable here. Yeah, I would put it uh, this way and uh, I would apply it to my personal uh, uh, expertise uh, building my own companies. I've started several and uh, failed one, badly failed one, but the other ones were, were pretty successful. So one of the companies I was building, um, I also got some credits from other organizations. Uh, it was not uh, web services, it was like uh, actually... Uh, uh, legal support uh, and also large legal firm uh, and, um, and they, their services were most expensive on the market uh, and uh, as a startup I would I would barely afford it but why did I go for their services uh, and why did I start with them uh, uh, it's not because of the credits they gave me uh, the, those credits, uh, we ran out of them really fast, but the network they gave me. So mm -hmm. every startup needs strategic partnership at early stage to get access to customers, to get access to expertise, and most importantly, get access to venture capital investors. And uh, uh, strategic partnership are making this uh, way faster uh, for entrepreneurs to reach their goal to build their dream company. And I think this is what you are trying to explain us. Uh, it's not like we giving everything for free. We are becoming your strategic partnerships and this is a win-win for long-term uh, uh, cooperation. And uh, this is what I actually uh, get from it because Amazon is not another company. Amazon is a, a world known uh, large organization with a lot of opportunities and huge network and uh, of course, ac excellent reputation. Mm, and uh, this is uh, this is a strategic uh, approach for every startup to get to you guys and uh, uh, with your support with your network they can uh, move to, to the market faster this is what i hear from you um, though there is another question related to what you just answered uh, uh, if we got 5k uh, how do we get to 100k support from amazon um you could raise money from, for example, Leta Capital, for example, you could, uh, you could uh, um, succeed to be in a batch, the next batch of Y Combinator, for example, if to talk about Ukraine, Russia, you, you could join NVIDIA acceleration program and also something like to become a graduate. And uh, we like this program because this is about artificial intelligence, machine learning, startups, and this is, I would say, new thing, uh, still new thing, and will be uh, a long, uh, long tail new, I would say, in the uh, next approaching years. Uh, that's, this is, uh, this is, I would say, the exact names, uh, the exact sum of the names of a market, but for you, just to understand that the most significant VC fund with the traction of nurturing and investing in the unicorns, uh, uh, if you get to the portfolio, if you get to the portfolio, you become eligible to get these, um, these uh, funds from AWS, if we are talking about 100. But in fact, this is some kind of the steps. If you already got, if you already got 5K, you could, you could get uh, 10K from business angels because a lot of business angels are AWS Activate providers. And, it, and if your business angel is not, 
please write me, please write me. I will onboard him and he will have this opportunity um, uh, to provide you with, with grants, with our emails. Um, that's, that's how it works. Awesome. Um, and there is another question from uh, uh, SV organization. Um, what about uh, the um, value of Amazon for, uh, for startups in terms of fundraising and evaluation? For example, the, does the partnership with the, uh, AWS uh, impact any uh, uh, increase in evaluation for startups uh, any, any way? Uh, I think this is, this is not some kind of a note in your pitch deck, which, you know, boosts your capitalization um, dramatically. In fact, in fact, uh, um, VC funds uh, expect from the startups to grow on the global market. And there is no way to do it, uh, but to build your infrastructure on a very scalable cloud uh, providers. This is point number one. So this is not about capitalization. This is about some kind of, uh, you should, <laughs> if you, if you want to scale, you should uh, use scalable mechanisms and AWS is all about it. Um, trying to tailor the capitalization to your collaboration with us, with AWS, having us like a partner, a, a cloud provider, I would also say that, yes, our referral program to Y Combinator, which we drive, and we are preparing your team to go through the interview with Y Combinator uh, on, on your path. My personal intro to VC funds, uh, which I talk to every day. Yes, this is a kind of the mark and some exact, uh, I would say, efforts is exact our investment uh, to you, which yes, somehow marks your, st uh, your startups like, you know, <laughs> on the separate track in the eyes of the VC fund, in the eyes of the Y Combinator. Uh, yes, so I would not say it raises your capitalization, but it uh, raises, um, how to say, visibility, visibility in the eyes of the venture funds and um, global accelerators. Yes, that's how it works. Okay. Um, uh, you just saw the context of uh, Nikita and Igor and uh, reach out to them if you have any questions, but uh, you always can find uh, uh, Nikita and Igor on uh, Go Global World chats on Facebook, Telegram, or reach us out and we'll connect you. Um, if you have any questions to Amazon and you see a, a, there is opportunity for you there, so Go Global World will help you to give this link to you, uh, to the guys. Um, there is a, w one more technical question, and uh, mm, I think uh, it's time to wrap it up uh, and uh, maybe plan for some other webinars uh, in future of the sp specific uh, request of the audience. And uh, um, the the question, technical question, is pretty simple, I guess. Uh, um, uh, if uh, uh, so, they're asking if they're using um, already one provider and uh, they would like to move to uh, AWS. Uh, does it make any sense to keep both providers, or it requires uh, to migra migrate one hundred percent? And what would be the challenges they face uh, in both ways? There would be two answers I, I, I predict. From business savvy perspective, uh, I would say uh, we are not obliging anybody to migrate 100% or more than 50%. There are no any such kind of criteria. We are, we are very obsessed with you, with your needs, with your customers' needs, and uh, we are trying to build the most... Uh, optimal infrastructures, what would be beneficial for you? So from, from my side, Igor's answer could be the... Uh, in a no, Nikita, I want to I completely echo your statement and say that we are 
not uh, we don't have any applications uh, and we don't don't put customers and in, in any you know like restrictions in terms of the migrating or no migrating and uh, uh, everything depends on the customer needs and uh, if this is convenient for you to maintain multiple um, infrastructures multiple configurations uh, in the multiple places um, some of the customers uh, from highly regulated industries, uh, they obligated to maintain hybrid solutions uh, uh, because of the data protection and uh, data regulation standpoint. So that's why I wanna say in the modern days, of course, we wanna help the customer to achieve the, the maximum um, and uh, maximum optim optimize their, their architecture. But uh, there is no obligation on um, being with or here or there or uh, choosing um, or limiting yourself uh, with uh, architectural solutions. Awesome. Um, um, great, uh, great having you guys here. I mean, we uh, answered mo most of the questions from the audience. Uh, and uh, before you go, I have some suggestion uh, to you. Uh, just keep uh, uh, in your head that uh, we don't say just buy in our community. So please think of some like what's on your heart and you wish uh, to, and you would like to share with last things with the audience. It might be just uh, some words of wisdom or some story or recommendations or just summing up what, what you just said. We never uh, give any formal uh, criteria for this, uh, uh, just the one what's on your heart and this is how we share. And while you're thinking, uh, I'll show some slides about our upcoming events. And uh, uh, this is how we will close this awesome talk. I think uh, we achieved what we wanted to, uh, uh, um, uh, to do. Uh, uh, and most importantly, I want to uh, our global audience to explore Amazon. And this partnership is here uh, uh, not for the sake of uh, creating another partnership, but this is part of our global infrastructure and Amazon is very important partner of ours and uh, we plan to develop the relationship and uh, we will develop this relationship with uh, AWS the way you guys want it. So reach us out and uh, we will see how we can help you uh, building a collaboration with Amazon. If any requests coming from you, we'll try to uh, accommodate it and connect you with the guys. All right, so uh, let me uh, show you the slides. Uh, okay, so what's coming uh, very soon? We have more global events coming up this, this month, next month. Uh, first, a uh, very important talk we will have with Claudia Heim, founder of DigiWatt from Hamburg, Germany. And we will talk about how to enter German market. So she's German, by the way, uh, as you may understand. Uh, but, and the uh, German market is huge. It's large economy. It's very uh, high potential for many startups. Use this opportunity, ask your questions. We already have tons of reg registrations and uh, uh, you still have some time to register. Um, we have some Australian speakers coming up soon. And uh, on August 10th, we will have um, Steve Torso from uh, Wholesale Invest and uh, WI Capital talking about how to raise uh, capital, how to fundraise yourself. And uh, he will have a lot of insights uh, talking from Sydney or Brisbane. I'm not really sure exactly where he's located, but I know he's in Australia. And uh, he has tons of expertise on fundraising and doing it himself. So you guys um, uh, uh, need to, to be there. If you're in fundraising mode, you're looking for investors, you'll get a lot of insights. And most importantly, we will answer your questions. Um, the other thing, uh, you might be exploring some new business models. And uh, nowadays, DAOs are, might, might become a disruptive funding model for startups. It's a decentralized um, uh, autonomous economies. And uh, uh, these kind of uh, instruments are just uh, happening in the world and uh, very few people have expertise about them. And Roscoe Pattison from, uh, from Australia as well, uh, he's gonna share his uh, expertise on how to build DAOs and uh, how to incorporate it into your startups. Be there, we'll see how we can take it further for, uh, for the rest of uh, our global audience. Um, 
we do publish events on go global world uh, event bright page uh, just don't forget to subscribe it but uh, we also have uh, uh, most of the events on our website, Go Global World. And if you want to stay connected with our global audience, with Igor, with Nikita, with other brilliant people from around the world, like experts, like investors, and like minded people like you, uh, who you are, or crazy like I am, because I'm really uh, inspired by all of you uh, and happy to uh, get you connected with. Um, people from around the world, from all the continents who can help you build something. This is the chat where you can do it. We also have the Go Global World chat on Facebook. On, um, and this one is on Telegram. And we also have on LinkedIn. This is where you can freely ask the question, like, guys, I need help with getting some support on like how to incorporate in Australia, how to incorporate or get some experts from uh, uh, Singapore or wherever, United States. And uh, people are uh, uh, very active and willing to help. So you are the ones who also should actively uh, uh, answer on these chats and support each other. This is where you build your global network. And most importantly, you build your global reputation. Uh, reputation is the key. And uh, we, by default, believe that you have a, a great reputation, but uh, 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 those who don't uh, value their own reputation don't stay alone in our community. That's why uh, maintain it uh, well and uh, try to proactively support each other. On this note, uh, as I mentioned, we uh, achieved uh, our goal to share uh, uh, opportunities with Amazon. Guys, it was amazing uh, perspective from business side, from technical side. And uh, I think we connected with uh, the audience and uh, I know people were watching us from the United States, from Australia, from Asia. And despite the summertime, every, everybody on vacation, people took some time and uh, decided to watch it and, uh, because it's an important topic. Thank you for your expertise. Thank you for sharing. And uh, the floor is yours. You are closing this session. <laughs> I, like, I like my feet. Uh... Uh, thank you, everybody, for joining. I have some, I would say, maybe peculiar advice uh, for everybody. And it would be very relevant for the startup founders who are building their business. I would say, for example, in Kazakhstan or in Russia. Uh, and if you are B2B startups, I see a lot of cases, I would say, observe when you have a very cool technology, a very cool team, uh, 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 winning a pilot opportunity with some national company, you are not using this like a trampoline to the go global to the global world, I would say. But you became uh, a sugar guys, uh, a sugar guys uh, like living with this corporate and finally become the employees and losing your entrepreneur spirit and your, I would say, the goal to make the whole planet, you know, uh, better, not like only one corporate. So this is the things I observe and I, I wish you to be very bold and to dream uh, very big, think big and dream big and uh, not to become calm after winning very moderate results, which you do definitely deserve, but you deserve the more, I would say. Awesome, thank you, Igor. Yeah, from my perspective, uh, entrepreneurs and uh, startups, they are my favorite, favorite type of the people because they are passionate, uh, they are very active and they're working hard. So I wanna say, um, the, uh, um, share my mojo, uh, which I, I carry with me, and uh, which is uh, we use uh, at Amazon because Amazon still uh, and AWS still is a, is a big startup, but we're still uh, using some good startup mojos. And the, my mojo is uh, work hard, have fun, make history. So I wish all of you uh, hardworking people still don't uh, forget to have fun and remember you are the one who making history. You are the one who innovating and moving the world forward. Awesome. So that was Nikita Hartinger and Igor Shadrin from uh, Amazon Web Services. Guys, 
high five to you and uh, high, high, high five to everyone. Thanks for your time and have a great day. We'll see you soon on other webinars.